in addition to being an executive, you're a songwriter, you're a producer, and also running you know, a big part of a major label. How do you balance those different skills um, in, in the context of being the head of a and More specifically, it seems from looking and doing some homework that your sweet spot is in that pop hip hop area. I want to know, for, if you can, just describe your role as the president of A&R, and I'm particularly interested to hear how you work with A&R execs that are working different genres within a big company like Warner Atlantic. So I'll answer that, essentially three questions there. As far as producer, songwriter, executive, I'm an executive first. I think it takes tremendous guts to be a songwriter and producer as a career. I respect that. I don't know if I have the guts to do that and the inconsistency in knowing where your next, you know, paycheck is coming from. You know, as far as holding those skills, they were always something I enjoyed doing. And I, I can't tell you if I'm good or not, but... I look at it like, you know, like playing tennis or golf or video games. It's making beats and writing songs or something I, I do for fun. After essentially years and years of practice and years and years of having an incredible uh, window into watching the best people do it and being able to talk with them and have dinners and ask questions and learn tricks of the trade, uh, I, I, you know, I, don't, I can't say how good I am, but I've improved a lot. I've had many hours of watching the best people do it, and, you know, you pick up the little things here and there, and you create your own philosophies. And at the end of the day, as an A&R person, when you're working with a artist with no producer around, you're the proxy producer. When you're working with a producer with no artist around, you're the proxy artist. On and on, you're sort of playing different roles, and you really should be versatile. So moving on from that to my role at Warner question, what I try to tell people is my role at Warner is I essentially consult the heads of A&Rs and the presidents of the different labels on A&R. Whether it be a president of label planning, a you know wanting to set, try to figure out what to do with an you know Australian pop artist who wants to go to Nashville or L.A. to do co-writing or. Somebody from um, New York is sending their artists to you know Sweden, and they want to know about the new writers, or whether someone in the UK is looking to you know fulfill fill a position that they haven't been able to find the right person or want to know their options. I sort of cons consult and strategize with them and see if there's anything me or, or my team can can add um, value. And I also um, am making it a big effort to create the flow of information between the, the worldwide companies. I'm uh, trying to create no funnels for I mean, no, no, like uh, essentially funnels that, that that pass through me. So I build tools like wikis that um, all the ANRs can access and get information on other artists and ANR people and can figure out who to connect to on different matters without having everything to run through any central systems that that could theoretically slow it down. And as far as the last question, you know, as far as the the, the consulting and in the different genres, the way I look at it is, is somebody who runs a tech company doesn't necessarily, you know, isn't necessarily an expert on interface or a programmer or, a, you know, architect on, you know, servers. They have a general understanding, and in the best case scenario, they know what they do and don't know. So um, I've been with the organization for many, many years. I know a lot of the executives here. And what I try to do is connect people to the, the resident expert. Um, a big theory that A and R people are best off when they are an absolute expert in a genre or subgenre, versus you know someone who's knowledgeable about music in every genre. I'm I'm truly an expert in a couple subgenres, and then I know enough about other genres to to at least be able to smell out who the expert is within the organization in that specific field. And I, I never um, will, you know, give an answer or my personal opinion if it's not relevant. I'll lead people to the people that, that um, are experts. I think that's an important point for our listeners today that, you know, the top execs, the people that really understand this business are not afraid to say, I don't know. They're not afraid to go and look for higher authority. 